Welcome to uh, Will You Press the Button? Zoom! Very simple. You are provided with two options. You may press the button to be able to wish for any item you want, but that item is taken away from someone else. Will you press it or will you not? And why? Push it. I, I, I feel like I would push it, to be honest. I, I don't know if that makes me a bad person. Everyone's saying push it, though. <laughs> I feel like I would push it. It depends if I knew who the person was. But I, I guess that's the risk you run. I'd probably press it. I'd probably press it. Although it does say wish for. Just because you wish for it doesn't mean you get it. But I, th I think you're right. I think I'd probably press. Hey, we don't care. So what have we got? 67% of people said they would push it. Whereas 33 people were nice and said they wouldn't. <laughs> All right. What is these with these adverts? You, you're, you're covering the button. Okay, I can click the wrist and it will still work. So, you become the president, prime minister, but your mum makes all the decisions. What's the point of being in charge? Like, like, I, I don't understand that one. Can you be, can you run the country? If, if then, then mum's running the country, surely. Release the Kraken. You will watch this. It's pretty pointless. You're right. I won't press the button in protest. These adverts. Here we go. You get to go back in time and kill Hitler, but there are no vaccines. Also, wouldn't want to be the president. Exactly. That's what being the president's about. <laughs> I mean, like... Given given 2020, vaccines feel kind of important at the moment. <laughs> so, um, I think I will not press the button. There we go. Everyone, everyone went for it. Everyone was like, nah, we need vaccines. <laughs> vaccines are so last year. Only just. <laughs> Only just. Oh, go away. You will get the girl you love, but you will die at the age of 25. Add removed. Thank you. Did that of its own accord. Oh, I think that's because it's playing it down here. Already dead. I will not. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know where we should be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The would you rathers. Here we go. Should probably have checked this. Let's just zoop, just in case the site's not good. Well, this one's already, uh, this one's already been answered, apparently. Okay, there we go. That that'll do. That'll do. Right, so let's try this one. Magically flip genders every... Would you rather magically flip genders every year or be forced to move and start fresh every year? I feel like I would... I'd flip genders. I'd probably flip the genders. I don't know if I could deal with having to remake friends and all that kind of stuff. Let's get some, let's get some music on. Sort that out. Move and start afresh. Move. Love to explore. You do get that. You do get the exploration bonus, but... but I mean, you can make friends again, but what about the ones that you're leaving behind each time? I'm going to go for genders. 60% agree. 40% would... Which feels about right, I think. Kill one person you know, or three strangers. 
I feel like that one... That one kind of... Social media got you covered. They didn't mention that. True. One person you hate isn't an option. Ah, uh, well, one person you know... Yeah. It's a fair workaround. Fair workaround. Oh. It's a blazing time... Or oh, it was a blazing time of evening. Ain't anymore. By a minute. One person you know. Everyone's going for one. Is that bad then that I was thinking of going for three strangers? I was going to go for three strangers, but I seem to be in the minority based on based on chat. If you can yeah, if you can choose the person But I don't know. I, I'm gonna. Uh, I, I would have gone for the three strangers, so I'm going with that. As is the rest of the public. Ha, you guys are wrong. Give me more. Be a regular on a daily soap opera, or make one-line cameos in three large Hollywood blockbusters each year. As long as they were like absolute zingers of one-line cameos. I'd go for the cameo over the soap opera. Because one-liners are better than soaps. I have thought about it, though. I've had dreams about it and stuff, about being a, being like a soap opera character or something like that. Not Nick being a soap, but me playing a, a soap opera character. I have thought about it. Stan Lee made it iconic. That is true. He's in pretty much every one of his movies, isn't he? I think. Put all the cameos together to make a film. Oh, King's so outside the box. Look at that. Everyone hates soap. Well, it hates soap operas. <laughs> Would you rather be as you are now or have a hundred million pounds but have a five percent chance of in instant death? Have a one night stand or have a friend with benefits? Interesting. What's people's thoughts? One night stand or a friend with benefits? Not applicable. Second one. If you were going to twist my arm on it, it'd probably be a one night stand. Because that's, there's, there's less strings attached. <laughs> Basically. Friends with benefits, it, it, it just gets muddy and complicated, I reckon. Such a devil question. Oh, everyone would rather have a friend with benefits. That that is kind of surprising. That that, that surprised me a little bit. Just a little. Alright, look, we'll, we'll do one more. Be starving for the rest of your life or be obese for the rest of your life. People want to be banging. True. Uh, for me, this would be be starving for the rest of my life. I don't want the hassle. Life's stressful enough. I don't need hassle. I don't want hassle. This one, I would rather be starving. As much as I do really like food, I already don't really eat that much. So this would doesn't feel like it would be too much of a drastic change. I also quite like my body shape at the moment. Which is relatively lean. I quite like that. 
However, it kind of comes, like, it just says for the rest of your life. Which of these would be a longer life? Obese, I suppose. Because medicine can help with that, can't it? Not help. You, 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 you know what I mean. That's a fairly even split. Fairly even. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Because I've really slowed down and I... I, I can't do... I can't do two and a half more hours. Which is very gutting. But I... I am... I am at my wall. So... Here... Is what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. You might have been able to tell... That I've hit my wall. And that I've slowed down a little bit. But here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you my exhausted looking face for a little while longer. We're gonna dive into one more game. One more game. And then we're gonna wrap it up. We're going into Spelunky 2. We'll do half hour worth of runs. I say that in the plural because I don't imagine I'm going to get very far. We'll do half hour worth. Fine bits. Thank you very much. Thank you for the kind words as well. It's uh, I didn't anticipate actually really getting that far. I thought we'd get to like one and I'll be like, nah, psh, psh, can't be done. But this is... I mean, this is this is the wall. This is the wall now. So we'll do a couple of runs, however long half an hour will last, and then we'll uh, we'll call it a day, night, whatever it may be. Uh, I don't. I'm gonna play on keyboard. Character. Who should? I got so many people. Who do we want to? Shall I, shall I just go random? Let's go random. Who am I gonna be? It's Erin. All right, I don't think I've ever played as Aaron. Come on down. I hit my wall hours ago. <laughs> All right, so there's so many cool features in this game. Right, aside from the fact of the more characters you unlock, the bigger your like homestead here gets, the best feature of all is right here. No, 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 come back. You can pat the pug! You can pat him, and they look so happy! <laughs> but look, look at all this. we got so much going on. We've got a busy little homestead. We've got people running around everywhere. We can pet the chinchilla as well. All the pets for all the pets. 10 out of 10 would pet again. You know what? Oops. After crashing into the ground twice we are gonna pet again there we go <laughs> all right onwards let's go morgan's sleepy now let's do it a couple of runs of spelunky or one really good run of spelunky and then we will wrap up our new year's eve slash day streaming marathon The aim, very simple. Collect as much treasure as you can. Make it to the end. Don't die. It's simple. Anyone could do it. Except very few people can do it. It's a game that rewards slow and steady. But also rewards speed and exploration. You've got to do everything in carefully balanced amounts. Otherwise, you take stupid damage, you die in a silly way, and it's all over. 
every death is preventable. You just need to do your best to prevent it. Nice. We got ourselves our chinchilla. That will give us a little health up if we can get it to the end of the level without it dying. Which is also somewhat of a stark possibility. Especially after a hearty consumption of adult beverages that we've had this evening. Anything can happen. Anything will. If this turns out to be the best run of Spelunky I've ever had, then I don't know what's going to go down. If this becomes the best run of Spelunky I've ever had, then I'll do another one. And we'll keep on streaming for longer. <laughs> I'm not optimistic. But we shall see. Alright, we got a shop. Anything for sale? Yes, anything I want for sale. The spike shoes. The spike shoes are good. We'll take those. Finish the stream! I will finish the stream. What remains to be seen is whether or not I finish it at 7 or at 5. <laughs> Alright, we got ourselves a turkey friend. The turkey... Uh, the turkey... The turkey... Uh oh, the turkey, the turkey's dead. The turkey's, the turkey's gone. The turkey isn't going to survive a winter. The turkey survived. I mean, that's a shock to us all. However, it's no good to anyone now. There he goes. Now the turkey's dead. I told you the turkey wouldn't survive. It is Christmas after all. Oh no. This turkey's not going to survive either. Early Thanksgiving, or very late. There we go. The turkey might survive. But we've been down this road a couple of times before. Let's not get too bogged down in it. Oh, my voice is going really croaky now. You can hear that, surely. Ugh. We're doing okay. We're through the first uh, the first couple of floors, nice and tidily. I just need, yeah, that lizard to get out of the way. That's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take the time to destroy the bone piles because there's a chance that we can get an item out of these, and it's always worth trying to get every advantage you can. Except the camera. The camera's no bueno. Mostly because it means that it, the stream becomes a struggle to watch for people with epilepsy. Because there's a nice big bright screen flash. But also it's just not too useful for me at the moment. I've got the key right there. Oh, the key's got to go up there. Okay. I'm going to put the pot right there. And now... Are you ready for this? This is how the pro Splunky players play. Bring it to me. Cook a bomb. Let it go at just the right moment so that you don't blow yourself up. All the pros are doing it. A lot of the novices are doing it very badly. I'm nowhere near a pro. Definitely more a novice than a pro. Uh, we'll take the idol as well. All of the financial gains right here. Oh! Like I said, I'm definitely not a pro. Like I said, every death is preventable. Like I said, Spelunky rewards careful play. Okay. Practice run. Gimme. It's Demi Von Diamonds. She's got the swanky high heels. Is there a pug to pet for luck? Oh, there's a cat. Pet the cat for luck. Onwards for another run. Let's try again. That one, that one didn't count. That was a practice. Alright, here we go again. 
Hopefully with a little bit more success. We've got to do the same but better, in the words of Bop It. Do the same but Bop Better. Now, can I rescue the cat without blowing it to smithereens? You know I can. Oops. Come back. Don't die. Gonna need the cat for health. Destroy the bone piles for items. <gasps> no, the cat's gonna die! Not if I can help it. I got you. Can you stop? Just stay over there. Turns out there was nothing there. Didn't you know it? I don't, can't remember what the cat's name is. I think it's Percy. We'll go with Percy. I'm sure one of the animals in this game is called Percy. It may as well be the cat. Percy the Puss. Because that's a nickname for a cat, not anything else. I disagree. But what can I do? I can't do much about it. All I can do is just voice my disagreement. The game doesn't listen to that. The game is a law unto itself. Uh, sorry, you're going to have to stay there this time. Not worth it. Resources are precious. Got him. I'll take some of that. No way! <laughs> Come on now. Gotta play properly. Uh, we got bombs and we got a gift box. I'll buy both of the bombs. Resources are precious. Especially bombs. Bombs are probably the most valuable resource in this game, in my opinion. Ropes, certainly useful. But the bombs can help you out of so many sticky situations in so many different ways. Ropes have a little bit less utility. We ain't going over that way. For instance, we can cook turkeys with bombs for a little bit of extra health, which will make up for the the ones that I've the health that I've lost. There we go. They can stay there. Nice. Does mean I've got to use a rope to get out of here, but that was a worthwhile spend of resources, in my opinion. Alright, so has anyone got any plans for New Year's Day tomorrow? As I'm sure you can imagine, mine consists of nothing at all. A lot of rest. I need to... Okay, this is not good. Can I have... Can you come? Don't die. And that's how you do it. Sleep exactly the same. I'm gonna sleep. Maybe have something to eat. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We survived. It's okay. Playing Yakuza eventually. Cooking a roast. Nice. Very nice. I've no idea. I think I've got fish and chips. I can do that. But that feels like a long way away. I've got all the chocolate in my room. That'll keep me going for a while. Oh, watch out for the snake. We got it. Don't need to go that way, as it turns out. Need to drop the key downstairs. I'm going to come back for the pot. The extra finances are very useful. Oh, careful of the spider. You want to be careful. Pop a bomb on the crate. The crates are always worth it. Especially when you spend one bomb and get three. Or, like, I guess you get two more accurately because you already spent one of them. I said plans for tomorrow, didn't I, really? I said, what, I, what, I really, what I guess I meant was, does anyone have plans for in a few hours' time? 
<laughs> nice. Down we go once again. If you hear the beating of drums, we have made it further than we did last time. That is a good sign. Crates, always worth it. We know this. Especially for a bomb box, that gives us a that gives us 12 bombs instead of 3, so that's incredible. This is a great spot to try and find the skeleton key. Oh, not in that bone pile. Fine. You can lower yourself down onto spikes without taking damage. Very useful to hold on to. Whoa! Oh, got a noise! That'll do it for me. It's been a blast. Thanks for a great stream. Morgan, thank you very much for coming along for all of the bits and all of the support over the last year and previous years. You see, you've uh, been here and been with me for quite some time, so it is very much appreciated. Have a wonderful evening. Enjoy your day tomorrow. If I am awake and able to, I will do my best to stop by your stream tomorrow. <laughs> but other than that, Happy New Year to you, and I will speak to you soon, my friend. Good night. Here we go, our first boss. This is Quillback. Are we going to the volcano or are we going to the jungle? I think... Oh, it's not going to be the jungle. You're going to take me to the volcano? Oh, no. Okay, we're going to the jungle, I think. We could lead him to the volcano. I don't think he's going to buy it for the volcano, though. Chuck a bomb at him. That'll do it. Oh, he's a coming. Oh, that's a lot of destruction. Okay. I think... Can I grab the chinchilla? Is that a chinchilla? I don't really know what kind of animal a chinchilla is, but I feel like that's what they look like. Can I destroy Quillback without provoking him? Apparently not. One more. One more. No, 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 no. We had Demi. We had Demi. Ah, oh, Valerie. Why don't you come on over? Stop making a fool out of me. All right, the penguin didn't stick the landing. This is going to be a bad run. I already know. Okay, well, we'll just have to make do with what we can. I believe in the power of Valerie. I just... It's always a bad sign when the penguin doesn't... When you throw the penguin and it doesn't land on the platform. Times are rough. Times are also very poor. We're making no money on this floor. We're making a little bit of money on this floor. Not in the kind of volumes I would like. But I guess that wanting more just makes me greedy. There's our chinchilla. Whoops. Oh, I can't believe that the spider nipped us. That's unfortunate. It's a turkey. Is the turkey going to be a benefit to us? Maybe. The turkey survived. Who knew? Damn penguin. The penguin has cost us everything. This is where the turkey goes. There's an altar to Kali up there. I wonder, can we get up there without dis without upsetting Yang? Uh, apparently not. We're going to start again. Forgot how to spell penguin. It's not a commonly used word. It's an okay word to forget to spell. Penguin. 
Oh, don't do it. It was a risky move for no real benefit. Well, we got the ghost pot that's got a $5,000 diamond in it. So there is a small benefit, but risk reward, probably not worth it. My brain has stopped. Mine certainly has. Not 100% sure it was ever going in the first place. But if it was, the, the cogs have stopped firing now. Is there any further I can go? No, we're sorted. Okay, onwards, forwards. Thank you. Down we go. To the Paradise City. In theory, I, I don't think we're going to find the Paradise City. Certainly not in a this direction. Is that a Kali altar? It is. We will be taking full advantage of that. We can sacrifice corpses to the goddess Kali. And in return, she grows to like us. The more we sacrifice to her, the more she likes us. The more she likes us, the better prizes she gives us. And that's the most important thing. Can't really afford much, but the spike shoes are, are a must. And then I'm going to have to take this second turkey to give to the give to the all-powerful goddess. Did I set off the arrow trap here? I think I did. I did. What I need to now find, hopefully, is a pet to sacrifice, because the pets are worth a lot. It seems I am being denied. The pet was all the way down here on the bottom floor. That's unfortunate, but I can't be spending all of the resources to get back up to the top. To be able to take advantage of the altar. So we'll, uh, we'll hope that we come across another one later in the run. And that will allow us to reap the full benefits. That is very much a hope, though. It's not a guarantee. Any goodies in the subspace? Nope, just the bat that doesn't want us to be there. Fine. I don't want to be there either. Destroy the pot. Grab the money. Mount the turkey. Get out of here! Job done. I don't want the turkey. I want the rock. Oops, sorry. And I don't mean Dwayne here. Oh, it's another shop. What have you got for me? A oh, hired hand. The spring shoes, though. Very good. I'll take them. Let us jump a bit higher. There's another Kali altar. Okay. Things suddenly get a little bit more interesting. Because I can buy the hired help here. I'll take Kevin. He's picked up the turkey for me. That's a that's actually really, really helpful. I'm going to take the caveman. Come on, everybody. Follow me. What did you do? What happened there? Was that you? Can you... And then he go he kills himself. The, the mole rat's having a moment. The rat threw the hired help at me. What is going on? Derek? You can't do me like that. Still, Carly gave us the spectacles, which is fine. It's not particularly exciting, but it'll do. Felt like a particularly unfortunate chain of events. But the more corpses we can give to her, the better chance we have of getting the blood cup. Which be there's so many bodies up there, I am s I'm gonna climb up. Oh, there's the key as well. Okay, here we go. Another bomb cook. We ready? 
Nice. Very nice. I'm surprised I'm still pulling that maneuver off. <laughs> that definitely, definitely should not still be happening. There we go. We've got ourselves the Uja Eye. We can see gems in the walls. It'll let us get to some secret areas later. Sacrifice this guy. Not enough. Give me the turkey. Not enough. Give me the caveman. This has got to be it, surely. No! I still need more. Where did that mole rat go? I know there's another corpse around here somewhere. Scarpered. Typical. Oh, it has this. Oh, it's stuck in the web down there. Darn it. Never mind. Onwards and forwards. The almighty quill back. Here we go once again. No! The punching trap. Things are going from bad to worse. No skeleton key. Fine. Maybe it'll be on the other side. It's not guaranteed, but it's always worth a little look. Okay, callback. This time... Where are you taking me? The jungle? I like the idea of that. Oh, he's opening up the volcano as well, though. Oh, he's not. Okay. I'm hoping I can kill him by jumping on him this time, because we have the spike shoes. Okay, maybe he is going to the volcano. Come on, come on, back this way. I guess I was in the wrong place. Oh, that's got to do it. I am exhausted. I think that's going to do it. <laughs> oh, damn. Good grief. I gutted that we're not making it till the the full twelve hours. However, <laughs> you know, have the party popper. I'm not doing another hat. Ah, <laughs> oh, one more as well for the end. Go on. Oh. Damn. Beautiful. Yeah. Um. I'm. I'm. A little disappointed that we couldn't make it the full 12. However, I didn't really prepare for it. I didn't have a nap during the day or or anything like that. So I reckon, having made it 10 hours without a nap or any kind of like personal preparation, I think it's a fair, a fair shake of the stick. And I reckon we could do 12 with a little bit more conditioning one day. But today is not that day. I have had an absolute blast. It's been so much fun. Not only streaming for so long, but just hanging out over New Year's. It's been brilliant. The support that's come through on this stream as well has been absolutely mind-blowing. The number of follows and, and, and subs and stuff like that, it's crazy. I Let's check, actually, if there's anything about the emote because if that space has opened up then that would be cool emotes I can do it I can add I can add a new emote hey we're only four we're only four sub points away from unlocking another one how crazy is that? That's brilliant. Check it, look. Tier 1, you got me with bronze. Tier 2, you got silver. Tier 3, you got gold. I've got a blank spot right here for Scyther. Get 25 sub points for an extra emo slot. I'm on 21 out of 25. In one stream, that's, that's incredible. So it's it's been absolutely awesome. I 
like I said, I would not want to have seen in the new year any other way, and I want to do this more and more often. I think maybe maybe we need to make these marathon streams a little bit more regular. Um, especially because you know, still not open, still not working, so I can still do this. Maybe maybe like a bit less adult beverage fueled, a bit less party pop and mess. But I think we can definitely definitely do more so on that note <laughs> i am gonna go to bed and so should you as well Whew. and then I, d I don't know i don't know when the next stream will be and i don't know what it will be because now we've got so many projects open we should probably start trying to nail some of these shut before we do any others so we shall see um but yeah, I guess all that remains for me to say is to, once again, thank everyone, everyone over the past 10 hours that has come along and watched, dropped, done anything and everything. It really does mean a lot and it's absolutely, it's been astonishing the kind of support that's come through today. Uh, better like just for old time's sake. Please on. Yeah. Um. So thank you for all that support and for coming and hanging out. It's it's bigger than the camera frame is. Oh, yeah. And a very, very happy new year to you all. Here's hoping that twenty twenty one does infinitely better than twenty twenty did. I will see and speak to you all soon. Tide is the man that wears the crown. Yes, he is. I will speak to you all soon. Thank you all again, everybody. Have a wonderful morning. <laughs> Enjoy your New Year's Day, whatever you're getting up to. And I will see and speak to you all again soon. Thank you. Good night. Take care and all the rest of it. Bye-bye. <laughs>